do. All right, so I'm gonna finish off today um, actually with I, what I started with when I warmed up before I did my strength workout. Um, so I talk a lot about and do quite a bit in my workout, my own workouts and in my classes, um, animal flow. And um, for those of you who are not familiar with what it is, um, it's, it's, it's kind of an amalgamation of many different styles of um, fitness, which is like one person described it um, as like yoga and uh, capoeira married together, but it's more than that. There's acrobatics to it, there's like gymnastics to it. Um, definitely if you have yoga experience, um, a lot of core usage um, and, and it's really fun. It's all body weight, so you don't need anything except floor space. And it really does hit really some critical things um, as part of like functional training movements. So, um, so some of the things include like wrist mobilization. So you do a lot of movements where you're balancing and twisting and turning. So that's working on getting the wrist strengthened and being able to move in multi directions. Animal flow itself is multiplanar. So you're constantly moving your body in different ways in different directions, mimicking different types of animals. And it can be huge, big animals like apes, gorillas, down to really small animals like frogs, uh, rabbits. I even did a seal crawl the other day in my class, which was very fun and interesting. But there's a lot of uh, core activation to be able to hold the poses, but also to be able to move through poses. And sometimes when you're doing some of the transitional movements, um, you kind of like balance a little bit in the air with your legs and before you come back down nice and easy. So um, that's one of my favorite things about it as well. Um, there's, and you're traveling, you're switching over, under, and flows. And so it's just, it's, it's, it's very beautiful and artistic and it's presentation when you watch somebody who's really experienced um, at a high level. So anyway, I started off uh, just kind of warming up my body by doing that. And um, so Hannah Eden does a lot in her workouts. I think um, it's her husband, Paolo, that was one that introduced her to it. And they did a, a YouTube video of kind of just like a little flow for everybody to do it with them and see how they can go through it. So there's, um, the same flow is I'm gonna do the same flow right now with them and it's uh, three times through so one will just be like a regular pace going through some of the basic movements then it's gonna switch up where it'll be one um, dynamic fast transitioning into a tempo slower and then fast slow fast slow um, in two different ways so let's check it out because it's 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 really fun that's all I'm gonna say about that so I'm finding a spot in the video where they're going to start together. We're going to start off in the beast pose. Um, so that's going to be kind of like a tabletop position. Your shoulders, elbows, and wrists are stacked. Um, you are you want to bring, put your toes onto the mat, and you want to make sure that your knees are right underneath your hips. And then you levitate your knees just a little bit off the floor, maybe about like one inch or so by keeping a nice flat back as well. So that's where we're going to start today. And I'm just going to follow them and listen to their call outs. And the call out, he'll, they'll say like, you know, right under, left under, um, beast pose, uh, front step, front kick through. And sometimes it's hard for me to like remember my right and left. So I'm going to do my best to try to remember <laughs> which one is which. So when you're going fast, it's hard already. Not amused with me. I'm very amused. <laughs> All right, so let me just turn this up. This is gonna be, you can find this flow on um, Hannah Eden's site on uh, her YouTube channel. So, ready.
in one pace. Now we're gonna split the pace tempo up. I gotta remember to always go into that li left side hip through first. I always wanna go right. I'm trying it again. You're a right dominant when you do, right? That's true. You lead with your lead. Now we're going to switch the tempo. Fired. I'm an impartial observer. Wait, uh, there's one more. One more, one more, bear with me. Let's do this. Let's do this. The other way now.
through and I guarantee you're gonna be breathless. But again, contorting your body in different ways, flexibility, mobility, strength, um, and you know, do things that are fun. You know, don't just do things because you need to follow a prescribed formula or something. There's so many different ways to train your body. So I always encourage looking for new things to do and I try to bring that to my classes and my own workouts as well. So thank you for paying attention. Peace. Um, hope you like our channel. Please hit like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to get more videos. Ciao, my friends.